Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Philip Magnus, and I'm back with some more Dishonored. This time around, I am going to be finding an art dealer, getting rid of two rather unfortunate Pendleton uh, members of Parliament, I believe their official titles are, and I will be doing a general lot of horrible, terrible, no good things. It's going to be a lot of fun. How have you been? I'm interested in it too. What was that? Huh. Okay, can't speak, can't talk. Not not a great start, but let us move on with it. Oh, it will? Thanks for the advice. I was just going to go to the first river and eat a buttload of whatever it is you told me not to eat, but... Now that you've warned me, I feel so much better. So I have a few different... different places I could go through. And fortunately, I am going to use whatever is in my... Uh-oh. All right, so this is a lot of fun. How does it work? What? The wall of light? Isn't it a wonder? It's one of Sokolov's latest inventions. They say the idea came to him in a vision. Yes, yes, but do you know how it works? I really couldn't say. But all the hairs on your body stand up when you walk through it. Keep your men from tampering with it. Oh, I'm looking forward to tampering with it yet again. I feel like they would have learned something by now. Da -da 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 -da. Fun. Let's rewire it. And let's move along, shall we? Whoa. <laughs> this was glorious indeed. Poor guy, though. He burned to a bloody... Uh-oh. You did not see me. You did not see me at all. Good boy. Now, all you need to do is pass through this here wall of light, and everything will be fine. Let's turn on dark vision. Hello, boys. You're so very close. Oh, well. I hope that you won't mind if I help along the process of your death. No? Excellent. Let's get us our bone charms. Bone charm is below ground, which seems like quite an unpleasant place to be. Oh well, I'm sure I will find a way soon enough. Is there one anywhere around here? No, I suppose not. Whoa! What the? Wow! That was very unpleasant, I will have you know. I did not expect to be shocked by a watchtower, but then again, I am obviously not observant enough to discover it. Good news, though. Uh, seriously? How did that even happen? Let's see if I can find my way to that bloody bone charm and be on my way.
Oh, I see. No, please, it's for my baby. He needs it. So I can save the damsel in distress. Sure. If the city watch gets sick, help her. No, I need it for my little one so he won't get sick. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You are most welcome. How can I thank you? I have nothing. Um. Wait, take this. It's the backdoor service key to Bunting's house. Well, thank you. On the main street. I used to work for him, you know, before the plague. He's let all his servants go, but he's still there. Probably hoping he'll be able to sell something from that safe of his. I don't know what he has left, but it's all I have to offer you. Please take it. Sure, why not? Best of luck. I hope you do not die in the horrors that is the plague. Or become a weeper. Or something equally horrifying. Oh, a pouch. Thank you. I suppose... Oh, there is some well meat. Which is not disgusting at all. And is only too delicious for my needs. I feel like I'm not getting any closer to the bloody bone charm, but... Uh-oh. La 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 la. I don't feel like this is the way to go. So I will just run away. I will just run away. And I will never be seen again. Perhaps I do not need the bone charms after all. Captain's chair. Hottle. Yeah, let's go in. One of the bone charms is obviously going to be here. If there is a way to the sewers of the city, some such thing, I am certain that I will find the other bone charm as well, in due time. So close, and yet so far away. Oh! Why would you not attack me, though? Ah, I knew it. You rats are weird. I would have expected you to try and bite my ass off. Ages ago. Literally ages ago. Oh well. Dot the golden cat. And no, nothing about the bloody bone charm. Oh, very well. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, look. They're just lovely. Play your way options. The upcoming area is riddled with pathways that allow many approaches to accomplishing your mission. What passages and hiding places? Cool, cool, cool. They ship them in from the farming villages. Bastard daughters. And extra mouths that can't be fed. Awesome. They thought they would be working in a factory. By the time they arrive, it's much too late. A sad but all too familiar story, wouldn't you say? Excellent. Here we go. First tune for the day. I say that this calls for a celebration. Or better yet. An assassination. Whoa. Fine. Let us run away now. Or at least kill this guy before we do. Excellent job. Excellent job, loads of chaos, and that much more fun. Yes, you do. You knew I was here, and yet you could do nothing to stop me. How does that feel, I wonder? 
Let's see. Any more of you fellows around here? No, only the rats. Most unfortunate for you, I'm afraid. Ouch! That bloody hurt! What the? Who saw me? Whoa! See? I am damned. Damned to suffer fools like you. And now I'll dump your body in the trash bin for no apparent reason. Goodbye. Ouch. I think I got his legs. Whoops. So this is where the art dealer is. Then. Very well. Shall we take a look for a different way in? Actually, a different way out, rather. Die! 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 Alright. I know I'm basically killing everything in sight, and that does not exclude rats in any way. Oh, look! More rats and food. Delicious. Alright, I think it's time to move along. I've had my fun! Time to get back to business. Hello, darling. Please help me. Why would you scream? <laughs> Fine. I'm just going to make this easier on you and, you know, do the thing. Come on, boys. Seems like no one cares to stop me all that much. Whoa. All right. That was that was creepy even by my standards. Seriously, that was that was very unnerving. Oh well. Let us move along. Hmm. By all means, call whomever you want. I will find you soon enough. Ah. I feel a bone room nearby. Okay, apparently I need a master key, which is kind of like a master card, but not quite as useful. Let's see. What can we do to make this easier? Alright, I'm going to left control you by my darling. Missing women, golden cat. Oh my. An excerpt from a crime story revolving around the golden cat. Mr. Arrowhoff, I assure you my family has the means to pay you and your associates. Should you locate my sister, you've got her name and description and everything else we know about her initial weeks in Dunwall before Patrice stopped writing to me. However... There is one other detail so hard to believe that I was reluctant to mention it. There is an establishment within Dunwall called the Golden Cat. A bathhouse, I believe, though some say it's a brothel. I find it implausible that Patrice would ever be connected with such a place, but I would be remiss if I did not pass along the information. Just before her letters stopped coming, the cousin of an old friend said he saw Patrice performing there, singing and playing the harp. It could be nothing, but please investigate. 
Lastly, if you search, if your search of the city cannot has not borne fruit by the month of wind, I will be making the trip from Morley myself in order to retain another agent. Sincerely, Madison Cainbright. I love detective novels, especially ones that take place in Dunwall. Those are the best kind. Let's see, a pouch. Oh my, this is where Emily is. Cool, cool, cool. I will be with you in a second, my dear girl. Wait a moment. Another room, but so far away. I'm eating all the food, by the way. I don't care if anyone wants any. It's mine. All mine. I still need to get to the art dealer. So I know where Emily is now. Now I have a few more things to do. First I would need to find... Yes, you continue to say that and yet I am not feeling it all that much. You will? That would make me most impressed, I will admit. So, the art dealer... What the? Who is humming? Oh god! Oh look! A fish! Let's possess it and see where that leads us. Alive without breath. That is... Cool and awful at the same time. Can I go this way? Oh yes, I can! Excellent! Da -da 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 -da. Pendletons are here again. Rich and mostly clean. Can't ask for more than that. <laughs> well. But they're dreams. I can't stand that. It doesn't matter though. Morgan took the ivy room with Lulu. Interesting. Let's see, what mission clue did, did we just unlock? Morgan Pendleton is the is blah blah. Sorry about that guys. Morgan Pendleton is in the ivory room on the second floor. Custis Pendleton is in the smoking room on the third floor. Custis Good information. No! Damn it. That's what I get for wanting to listen to backstory. Oh god. At least she's very scared right now. That is, I suppose, good enough in some ways. I'm still nowhere close to the art dealer, which, let's admit it, is somewhat frustrating. A bit closer now. Oh! A Tivian pear? Sounds delicious. If only I didn't hate pears in every which way. Sorry, I... Can you be a bit more silent, maybe? Thank you! That's so much better now. Talk to that nice girl again. The one I told you about. You realize you're at the Golden Cat, right? Yeah, but she's different. Whenever I listen to these guys, I feel guilty for actually killing them. Not you. You're just jealous. Shut up. Whoa. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. I'll bust you out. Help! No, don't yell out. See what you made me do? Help! 
Hello. Whoa, you guys are a lot. Haha. -ha. My advanced strategy once again worked. <laughs> Implying that I have a strategy. Whoa. That is creepy. Oh, they are unconscious. I decided that they were both dead. Which would not have surprised me, but would have been endearingly more creepy than what I would expect. Nah, <laughs> actually not. Not at all. Let's move along. There is so much to do yet.